So today I thought I might talk about obviously we always because it's the feed I talk about the recommended feed in my YouTube now everyone knows that you know I have my own channel and that's you know that you know that you know this is like me all my ASMR stuff and all that but I'm far more than that as everyone knows so you know we go to all my feeds and all my recommendeds so I'm going to show you what they sort of recommend to me um, and we're going to talk about why now I've told you everyone how that my phone listens in and today I actually had my phone with me when I was actually talking about something for the offensive and because I was talking about something the offensive I'm gonna find a lot of like what I'm writing here a lot of trans stuff because I was talking about gay and trans people and not in a bad light in a good light because you know I'm all for it um, even though I am a you know a cis girl who you know who is always gonna be a cis girl I'm never gonna be trans I'm never gonna be gay because I am a straight a straight trans person a straight, straight, trans, <laughs> a straight cis girl um, you know and I am always gonna be a straight cis girl and cis meaning if anyone out there playing at home doesn't know cis meaning you were born the gender you are meant to be and you feel comfortable in your skin as the gender you were born in that is meaning cis it's a I think it's like a Mexican word meaning what I just told you so yeah I am a cis girl and always will be a cis girl you know I love fellas I I'm into the dudes and I like being a girl way too much there are sometimes me I, I actually act like a tomboy but I'm too much in love with shoes and bags oh I love shoes and bags they're my two favorite things in the world when I go shopping shoes bags oh, and pens I'm obsessed with pens I don't know why I gotta have fancy pens I can't have you regular pens um but you know that's just me but enough about me i am um, what i'm talking about is you know why i would have these on there um i am a huge fan of steph Signati, which is down here i love Steph. so the fact that they've showed me steph Signati, that's fine i'm a huge fan of her i think she's great she was a man who turned into a woman and she had um facial feminization to look like a woman and full wants to be a woman and she wants to get the other surgery very very shortly um and good on her and i think she's an amazing person and i am part of her bread squad so holla um but you know i love trans people because i find them interesting i find they have a different perspective of life than others and um you know i really enjoy watching them and knowing that you know there are other people out there who have other situations going on other than my own who have you know these other problems going on in their heads psychologically so it's really interesting to me and um you know i don't mind um people you know who have different situations in life so i seem to like um watching a lot of trans people it's not just steph Signati. i watch ty turner um which i have been refit recently because steph Signati and ty turner are now a couple um i also watch princess jewels and i used to watch um oh what's her name Oh, I can't think, but I used to watch this other one um, because I used to think she was cool, but now I don't think she's anything because she's just, I don't know, just I have my reasons. And, um, you know, I don't, and, and I also watch Demi Dodger, which I really like watching, um, an English transgender person. And I think that's really cool. And um, I just like watching them because they make me laugh, they make me cry, I feel for them sometimes and you know, and it's just, I don't know why, it's interesting to me but they're, they're cool people and just, just a weird insight to life and you know, I'm all about social studies and I don't know why I'm all about the social but you know, whatever. And also today guys, I'm sorry about the voice, so this is like the third time in a video today that I've had to say sorry about my voice. I am getting better, I have a chest infection, so I am so sorry for the voice guys, and I'm still getting better, so I think I'll be better by about Sunday, maybe Monday, otherwise I feel like absolute wanna smack into a, a bus bad, that's how bad I feel right now, so. Again, it's going back to me again, what am I doing? Ugh. Anyway, so, 
other things in my feed today um what made me what look what made you do everything wrong with i haven't watched it yet but i've been wanting to watch um music video sins because i am hating this song she drives me nuts with this song i hate it i hate it hate it so the fact that music video sins has made an er look at when you made me do is made me so happy and i think that they've caught me on my phone talking about how i hate it so that's probably why that's there um, also, as I said, I'll get another little ASMR feeds. Um, Ting Ting happens to be my favorite at the moment. I have different um, ASMR people that I like at certain points. Um, but Ting Ting seems to be my favorite at the moment. Um, she just, I don't know, she gives me the great tingles and the great vibe at the moment. So that's probably why that's there, okay? So, yeah. Um, I'm not into watching teens play stuff on um, teens re on the React channel. I'm not a fan. I only like when they react to things, uh, not react to playing things. I'm not a fan of that. So the fact that they have that, I'm not... Ah, uh, skip over it. I hate it. I like gaming, but sometimes I don't like watching gaming. Like, it just bores me because I'd rather sit there and play it than, than watch someone play. Like, I can't deal with watching. But the only time I don't mind watching is when I'm watching my uh, friend who's also another Australian YouTuber of the name of Wilco's Chill Zone. If you go have a look on the YouTubes and find his channel. He's also on Twitch as Wilco's uh, Chill Zone. He will be on tonight, Friday, and I think so. Saturday? I'm not too sure, but he plays some pretty good games at the moment. Um, he's really into Destiny at the moment, so if you go check him out on Twitch, um, and check him out on the Twitters, and check him out on YouTube, go and have a look. Um, you know, they have some great fun, and I enjoy watching, so please check out Wilco's Chill Zone. <laughs> And anyway, back to what I'm saying. Um, Pink is always a great person for me. I love Pink. I always have loved Pink. Sometimes I don't agree with some things she stands for, but everything else, I think she's a pretty cool chick. And, you know, I'd love to get, like, fit as her and doing the things she does. So she's pretty cool. Um, the Try Guys. Ah, the reason the Try Guys. Even though I'm subscribed to, like, this is like the little, little ticks next to it is because I'm subscribed to these people. Um, is I'm subscribed to the Try Guys. Um, it's just that my mum and I were into like what I was talking about before with Tyler Henry last week. Um, my mum and I <clears throat> are huge friend, fans of Tyler Henry, and for some reason on our television they stopped showing it, and I'm like, great. And they got this Housewives of London, what the freak it is now, and I hate those shows. I think they're just complete trash. And so, you know, not watching Tyler Henry is a bit annoying. So I went on the YouTubes and found all these videos about Tyler. And I showed the Try Guys with my mum. And I had to explain who the Try Guys were for my mum. Because she doesn't watch YouTube and wasn't really sure. And so I explained to her who the Try Guys were. And even my sister's like, oh, but they've been around for ages. Like, I've watched them too. And I'm like, yeah, we know. We know, Paige. Like, calm your, calm your jets. Like, seriously. <laughs> um, but, you know, my mum being my mum, she's not caring. Um, and we watched the Try Guys get read by Tyler. And it was so um, weird to see the Try Guys actually crying over something emotional for a change. And it was really strange. And I really... Um, liked it I think and it was just weird to see a different side of the Try Guys so I really liked it and this is probably why the Try Guys are in my feed. Now um, also Philly D will always be in Philip DeFranco will always be in my um, in my in my feeds because I watch him every day um, I don't watch his vlogs much anymore I used to but they're just getting pretty damn boring and same-o same-o um, but I do watch his news program, um, which I love to death. Um, it's like, that's the way I get news. I find that watching Philip DeFranco helps me not dumb down the news, but helps me figure out, you know, what's going on in the world and how he deciphers it and, and reads it helps me figure out, oh, okay, so this is what's going down. Okay, because sometimes I do understand, I know what's going on myself. Um, and watching the news, but it can be a bit boring and Phil just makes it more interesting and I know what's going on in the world and I can make my informed opinion from there and I can actually comment and talk to um, Phil's team about what I think is going on. So I think that's a great thing and um, yeah, so that's probably why Phil is there. Um, 
but if you aren't uh, a fan of Felix Franco and you haven't already gone to his thing, I'm s I, I, I don't have to do a shout out, but I'm going to do it anyway. Please go, please go watch him. He is amazing. He is good. Um, and go and watch the new program that he supplies. It's pretty good. And um, at least there you know you're not going to get BS. Anyway. Um, of course, as I said, Ty Turner, I've currently watched Ty Turner as he is now going out with Steph Signori, they are now a couple, and I am just learning about Ty Turner more. I've always had him on my Twitter, and I've never really had him as a subscription, but now I've subscribed to Ty Turner, and yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, why have I got cannibal killers here? Like... Did I say something about a cannibal in my phone the other day? I'm trying to remember. But I don't think I did. I don't think, um, I don't, I'm not think I'm into cannibals. So this is really weird. I'm not a cannibal. And, and yeah, there's a cannibal killer and, and, and murders and things. So that's really weird. Um, I, don't, I think that's super weird. Uh, like, why are you there? And of course, as I said, I've been talking about Tyler. So of course, I've got, you know, Tyler here in my feed. Um, but I don't know why this whole voice thing, I think my phone hears me singing and then automatically thinks that I would like voice auditions. So yeah, I'm, at the moment I'm not doing a lot of singing, um, I'm trying to get my voice back more than anything. But you know, I sing, yes, I sing. I don't like to do it a lot on YouTube, but I do sing and I love to sing and I love to play my guitar and I love to do the things that I do. And yeah, I love doing it and it makes me feel happy about my life if I sing. So automatically my thing my phone towards my marketing thinks, oh okay, well she sings a lot. Maybe she'll like looking at the voice. So thank you very much, YouTube, for giving me voice auditions that I really don't want to watch because it's annoying and I don't like it. But thank you anyway. Um also watching this, I watch Jeffy a lot. If anyone doesn't know. He, um, these people have got Nintendo character toys um, and they've got this puppet named Jeffy and some other puppets that are like key figures in the, in the whole scheme of things and it's about a, it, it, it's not really good because it has fun of stereotypes which is not very very good um, sometimes it's a bit uh, racial and it's a bit um, wrong but there are some days where this show can be actually quite funny and I'm actually subscribed to it and um, yeah Jeffy happens to be a mentally um, unstable kid who you know happened to turn up on his doorstep one day and he calls him daddy even though he's not his real daddy and he had no choice but to look after this kid who turned up and he wears a diaper on the outside of his pants and he names himself Jeffy and Jeffy happens to be just oh my god he says the funniest things he has a pencil shoved up his nose and he's just it's just funny and it he w he turns out like he's not really that um, dumb after all. He's actually quite smart and he's quite funny. So um, just watching it, it just it cacks me up every day. If I want to laugh, a cheap laugh, it's always that. So yeah, it's hilarious and I love like sometimes emulating it to my mum and my mum laughs because she knows what it is now. So yeah, it's funny, but that's why that's there. Um, also that and yeah, I don't know why they're giving me like. Um, reacts. I think because other react channel they're starting to give me react videos, and I'm not a huge fan of all react videos. Just the react channel I like, um, but not a huge reacting or that. Like seriously, leave me alone, sir. Um, more of the try guys, I suppose, and like they're playing Sims 4, which is weird. Um, and you know, um, other things they keep giving me. Um, I think this is because my mum and I actually watch um, something like this the other day on TV and I think it heard me on this. I actually watched this TV program the other day about how um, people donate their bodies to science and what the actual um, process they go through to get their bodies ready for this and what happens when they die. and all this stuff and I wasn't a huge fan and I, I only watched it because I just got so interested and, and, and in a morbid a morbid sort of interest and 
it was just so wrong and these poor people were sick with cancers and they were donating their bodies to science I just couldn't believe it and it just it made me sick in my stomach it really did and I think because I watched this program with my mum late night um, television you know how they, they roll out this stuff in you know, late night um, I think this is why so this is it just I don't know, it creeps me out, and I'm not. Thank you very much, YouTube, again. But no, thank you. Um, see, like, that I was I was only Googling water the other day about water toxicity, and I was really kind of, um, oh, not worried, but, like, sometimes I drink a little too much water, and I start to get, not water toxicity, but I get um, water drunk, wets where you have too much water, and it's, traveled from your spine to your brain and your brain's a bit swishy and you feel a bit drunk because your brain's a bit swishy and you can feel your brain floating in your head and it's great but at the same time it's no good because you've drunk too much water and your body is just trying to filter it around your body and it's not happening so yeah um i think this is what I, why i was googling it and this is why they gave me this so again something i really didn't need or want but it is interesting <laughs> thank you again your tip so again we have this um another ty turner thing like it, even though i watch ty turner and i am uh now subscribed to him it's just annoying that they just keep throwing stuff at me like you know i get to watch it that's fine but don't keep throwing this shit <laughs> like, it's enough i'm subscribed what else do you want from me <laughs> thank you again youtube you're really not helping um this is i don't know why irene ryan right is um the granny from the beverly hillbillies and for some reason she's singing i am a i am woman like an i am woman here we were and she's singing and i don't know why I know I'm into old shows and things, but seriously, I have not mentioned the Beverly Hillbillies to my mum in ages since I think Donna Douglas's death. And that was last year, the year before that Donna Douglas, which is um, Ellie Mae, she died. Um, the only one left alive now is Jethro. And um, yeah, it's really crazy. And I haven't mentioned it to my mum in forever, but for some reason, I, Irene Ryan's. I know I'm into classic shows, but. Jesus, thank you again, YouTube, for doing that. Um, also, um, I, I watch top 10 shows, like, you know, shows that have um, counting lists. And I do these things because I like them. But for some reason, it keeps giving me more top 10 lists. And it's like, in case you missed it, here's another one. It's like, I go to my sub feeds. Like, I don't look what's on my page, like, because I'm getting tired of YouTube just ramming shit down my throat like this. And so I go into my subs, I look at my subs, and I watch my subs. I don't watch anything outside it unless it looks interesting, you know? Like, um, some new story or something that looks funny, I'll click on it. But other than that, I only go to my subs, you know? And the fact that I keep ramming, um, watch Mojo, as you can see, I am sub to them. What's the point, you know? So, get off my back, man. Seriously? Um, also, Young Turks. I don't like watching the Young Turks anymore. I used to before I found out that some of their news is actually real fake news. Um, and, you know, I'm not a fan of Young Turks. And sometimes their actual um, news thing or the way they have conservative sort of views, I'm not really into that. And sometimes I really hate some of the way that they present the news so I'm not a fan of the Young Turks anymore it used to be and now I'm just I'm over them and so I don't know why they've given me the Young Turks um, but you know what over it like super over it go away like YouTube you've done it again you mongrels <laughs> um, but this one also people watch racist commercials I don't know like it's another like reacts thing um, I'm not into reacts like why in hell are you like bombarding my page I don't need you like seriously I don't want other reacts things please can you like stop and just give me the things I really want out of here like there's only like maybe a handful of things on here that I like and the rest you could throw it away like seriously why in the hell like seriously leave me alone but Today, this was the feed, and uh, yes, I am a fan of Jacqueline Glenn. If you don't like it, whatever. But <laughs> if 
this is the feed today so i hope you enjoyed the feed and that the fact that youtube doesn't get it 100 percent right every time and that they can sit there and it's just so funny that they can do this to us and claim that they're giving us a better service when really they're just giving us a screw load of crap and i don't think this is correct um, even though, you know, they hardly give us any money for doing what we do and hardly, you know, treat us right as creators on this, on this channel, um, on this platform, I mean, um, but seriously, um, I hope everyone enjoys like this and everyone's enjoyed my YouTube feed and I hope to see you next time in me and my bitching ways. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Ciao ciao!